Let me show you some features of the ladder interface on BetAngel. You can see at the top of the screen here a number of options if we click on ladder that transports us to the ladder area that you see here. What a lot of people prefer to do to give themselves more space on the screen is to undock the ladder. So if I click on this button here you can see it undocks the ladder and brings it to the front. Obviously if you wanted to you could move this around, move it off different screens and so on. But um, let me show you how to improve yeah, your view of the market by adding certain features to the ladder area. You can see at the top here we've got the horse or the selection I should say on this particular market that you wish to trade. If you click on this function here you will get a chart. If you click on this function you go on to the advanced charting section but you'll have to um, visit that area separately and look at that video for a full explanation because there's a lot of detail behind the advanced charting. You can use candlesticks and all sorts of technical indicators in there. You can also modify chart settings up here but this refers to um, areas that are available in the enhanced ladder and you need to um, check that out independently as well. But you can see here we've got three ladders. Um, the first thing that uh, a lot of people like to do is at the moment you can see here we've only got the three prices displayed on either side. Obviously it makes a lot of sense to switch on full market depth. And what full market depth will do is uh, bring up all of the traded price range that you see in a particular market. So you can see here that the favorite has traded in a range of quite a wide range from 196 it's had very small amounts of money matched a bit more money matched around 182 and you can see most of the money's been matched at or around the current price so switching on full market depth will allow you to um, see exactly how much money's in the market and where it's been traded and not just in the front three prices but obviously a big advantage in doing that if you want to use the global settings you can do so um, but also you can switch on the trading profit column. What you can see here is we have placed an order in the market. If I switch on the trading profit column you can see that this tells us basically what our profit would be if the price moves in one direction or the other. So you can see we've backed here um, at 148. At the moment the price is at 147 so we've made a, a one pound profit on this. If the price continues to tick in then automatically um, we will make more money but we can also see exactly what the potential loss is if the price starts to move against us and you can see this is available on all three ladders. Uh, furthermore what you can do uh, on the ladder interface we've backed here at 148 so the market's slowly moving in our favor here and obviously we would like to um, take that out at a profit. If we wanted to say okay we want to make a five pound profit if I click on that column there you can see it places the reverse order in the market for us so this order over here is the um, unmatched bet sitting at 143 waiting to be filled so if the price continues to come in to this price here then we automatically have the order in the market but of course you don't need to do that you could actually just click that you know when the price moves down you can see the price has ticked down nicely in our favor here we're now two pound up um, we, if I click this now we would just exit with a two pound profit on this and the entire column would go to zero. What I could also do as well is, you know, the price has come in and we've made two pound here. Perhaps we don't want to make a loss at all. So if I right click, this will put a stop loss on. So basically as the price comes down, we'll earn more and more and more money as the price comes in here. But if the price goes back out to 148, we will automatically uh, get closed out at this target profit price here. So, you know, because we're slightly in the money, maybe we should move that up to minus one or something. But if you right click, you can place a stop loss. And if you right click once, it places a stop loss. Right click again, it disables it. And you can actually place stop losses across the ladder on both sides. So, um, there are a number of features that will allow you to um, enhance what you do on each of the ladders and adding in full market depth, the trading profit column and right clicking to apply a stop loss will allow you to manage your risk much more effectively on the ladder interface in Better Angel Professional. If you've got open orders in the market, say for example we place uh, an order in the market over here, you can see we suddenly appear at um, 141 in, we're way, way off the start of this particular market. Um, if I wanted to put lots of orders in the market 
at different ends of the market for a variety of reasons. You may find that as the market begins to move in one direction or in another um, very quickly, you may want to cancel orders on one side of the ladder or the other. So what you can actually do is you can click on the cancel option up here. So if I click cancel, that will just get rid of all of the orders within that um, part or that side of the ladder. But you can also um, use a keystroke to do this. So I've got my fingers on the keyboard here and if I um, press the Z key you can see that it's cancelled all the orders on the left hand side so rather than to make yourself more productive rather than having to go up here click the mouse you can just keep your fingers poised on the keyboard and you can automatically cancel one set of orders or the other so say we've got an order that we've popped in the market here and all of a sudden the price is coming up to move that and we realize that perhaps we've made a mistake doing that we can just cancel it very quickly without having to move the mouse and that also increases your flexibility in terms of moving around between different columns and um, doing that on, on multiple columns at the same time. So you can see on top of the standard facility of having a ladder we've added in lots of enhancements here to uh, improve your trading capability quite significantly.